Scott Golden here with the Golden Up Exchange Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, social, and coaching related nature. We try to do that as often as we can, uh, several times per week usually, and we've got over 700 audios available for your listening pleasure on a variety of topics. It is uh, certainly a good idea to uh, reach out if you're looking for coaching and figure out how the people with rich quality of life live. Now, rich doesn't always mean money. For some people, money is a factor in that. For other people, it's not. But regardless, uh, living a rich life is something that we should all or almost everyone aspire to. And getting there is not as difficult as people think. It just takes a certain level of discipline that many people lack because expectations enter in. And when expectations aren't met, many people choose to quit rather than push through, which is actually the first thing that we're talking about in terms of what rich people do that, that uh, other people don't, and that is push through emotional state. Your emotional state is an indicator of the need for things to change. Your emotional state is, in fact, a useful factor and can be helpful and useful to you in many ways. However, if you allow your emotions to become the definition of your identity and or you allow your emotions to make your decisions for you, life will become more complicated and for the majority of time you will fail or fall short of what is good, helpful, and meaningful to you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get to a good place by using your emotions as indicators. However, you will have difficulty in balancing your life out if your emotional state is the way in which you make the majority of your decisions. The next thing to consider is having role models. Now, role models don't have to necessarily be famous people, nor do they have to have accomplished a great number of things. But they should have two things in common the knowledge and ability to articulate that which they have accomplished in a way that is understandable to you and have relevance to whatever it is you are trying to accomplish. And you should have access to connecting with them either through audio, video, or one-on-one -on -one conversations to ask questions and, cl and gain clarity. Watching other people kind of move forward in a meaningful way is useful and helpful in a deeper directive so that you can find a more meaningful quality of life. When you understand that role models go through difficulties as well, and they have learned how to overcome them in ways that you have not yet, then you will gain the, one of the biggest values of having role models, which is avoiding the pitfalls they've already lived through so that you don't have to. The next thing is have drive. Have passion, have drive, and have things that, that motivate you. Know your motivating factors well, Update them when something no longer motivates you. Don't try to make yourself be a robot in the sense of holding on to something that used to motivate you but no longer does. This is a mistake that a lot of people make simply because they don't update their needs portfolio. They don't update the things that ultimately are, you know, meaningful, are and are not meaningful to them. At the end of the day, it's important to begin to understand that you have complete control over how you relate with the rest of the world and understanding how to balance your desires with where you are. Being, being grateful and accepting of where you are while still pushing forward to where you want to get to is an interesting balance and it takes commitment and it takes learning and growth because you have to balance your emotional state, your vision, and the steps you're taking in a practical everyday sense in order to get to where it is you want to be. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have all the answers. Many times you may even feel that you do not have the answers, but when you begin to understand you're capable of getting to a um, meaningful, balanced, and powerful mindset can be one of the most important things ever for you to do. Next thing to consider when trying to live a richer and fuller life is self-awareness. Understand that you have pitfalls. Understand that you have strengths you're not tapping into. Understand that you have talents you may be underusing, underutilizing, or underappreciating. When you understand that there are positives and negatives within you that you're not tapping into or that you're not covering properly, then you understand how to be self-aware. Also understand that your emotional state and your field of knowledge and field of experience will change several times in a given day, sometimes several times in a given hour, 
based on the inputs of information that are coming at you, based on your interpretation of things happening around you, and becoming as resourceful as possible is one of the most important things that you can do in order to get um, ahead in daily living. The next thing is never quit on yourself. It is okay to choose to look at things from a different perspective and let go of the past. It is okay to begin to understand the value in doing exactly that. However, quitting on yourself is not an option. Even if it takes years or decades to get where you want to be, keeping a focus on the goal, but also accepting that your goals or aspirations may change over time is important. Again, balance and serenity and peace within is the center, and that is the measure of a truly rich life experience.